Step one, implement the own art in click listener. Hi, and welcome to this new video. Okay, so here's what we have from the last video. Okay, here's what we have learned, hopefully. Okay, in this new video, what I'd like to do is, I would like to be able to add an item click listener to this nice little app. In such a way that if, if you click on any of these movies, if you click on this one, for example, you will get Alaeddin right in a pop-up message. How about if you click on the show the ship, you'll get the exact same thing, show the ship. How about if you click on Kingdom of Heaven? Okay, so Kingdom of Heaven, and I'll get Kingdom of Heaven as well. So let's find out how we do that. There are so many ways of doing this. I will select the easiest and the most straightforward one. Maybe this is not the recommended one, but let's just keep things simple. I love simple. Let's go to this uh, package name in here. Right click on that. New Java class. And let's type something like item click listen. <coughs> Let's change the kind into interface and let's click this. And by the way, why do I have to go to do this, which is a little bit a lengthy approach? Well, unfortunately, recycled views do not come with their default on item click listeners. This is unlike the list views, for example. So that means you will if you would like to have an item click listener, as we have just seen, on here, you will have to implement that on your own right. So here's what we're trying to do. First of all, I've created an interface, and in the, that this interface will have just one method. So let's create, let's just add the method signature. So this will return nothing. Let's call it on click. And it should accept two things, two parameters. First of all, the view, okay, uh, view and then the position, position. The position means that which, which position am I on? Uh, this is position zero, this is position one, this is position two. This is of course to be able to answer the question, which movie has just been clicked? Okay, is it this one or this one or this one? How do we know this? By finding out the position. Okay, so the interface is now done. That's pretty easy, right? Okay, so let's go back to the main activity. And now we must set this, this class to implement this interface. So let's do that. So M, let's implement this newly created interface. And as you can see, it immediately gives us an error. That's because we must implement every single method inside this interface. So if we go into that interface, there is only one method which must be created which is on click so back into here and so here's the question what is the magical fix key that we always use yes you've got it alt enter thank you alt enter implement methods and click ok to that and as you can see the method has now been added to us and it's up to us to implement it for this video let's just have a toast okay so toast enter and then tap tab to have android studio to fully implement this for us and instead of this, my friends, let's just print the title. So, so if, if the user clicks in any of these movies, they will see a title popped up here on a toast message. Okay, so in here, my friends, let's have the movie list dot get position. So we need to know which position we are, we are clicking on. Then dot get movie name, right? That's pretty easy, correct? Okay, so that's done. Now we need to go to the adapter class, which is right in here. Okay, so let's create a class level variable or class level field. So private item click listener, our interface, and then object name, which is starts with a lowercase i, and just under. You know, you can have it anywhere, but let's just have it in here. Uh, we need to have a setter method in here for that for this field. So we've just defined this the field in here, okay? Then we need to have a setter method for it. All right, okay. So let's just have a private. Uh, it returns nothing. 
Okay, so set item click this in there. Uh, the parameter is item click this in again. So it must expect, it, so it expects to accept this parameter. And then let's say this, the item click this in there, which we've just defined equal to this one right here. Okay, so item click this in there. This is just a setter method, okay? Next! We would like to go to the inner class, which is the movie view holder. And this, my friends, must now implement the on click listener. And since we have implemented this interface, we must now implement the methods defined in this interface. So, how do you fix this? How do you fix the red line? What is the magical fix key? Alt enter. You have guessed it. Thank you. Implement methods. Here we are. Okay. And so my friends, let's have a quick if statement in here. So if item click listener is not null, item click listener dot on click, and notice that this method accepts two parameters: the view, the position. Okay. Uh, so view, which is box right here, and then we'll use this method: get adapter position. Okay. Right. Okay. And in the constructor, my friends, in the constructor of this class, right in here, we will use this view, and we're going to say item view dot sit on click listener and pass this. Why? Why this? Because we are implementing right in here. And we need to do a similar thing for the main activity class. So here's the main activity class, right? Okay. We are implementing our own interface click listener. So just before, in the onCreate method, on the onCreate method, right after the last line, let's have this. Let's have the movie adapter dot sit on item click listener and pass this. Okay? And hopefully that should do it. Let's see if that works. Okay, let's try. So what happens if we click on Ala Din? We get a message that says Ala Din. What happens if we click on the Mad Max? We get a message that says Mad Max. Thank you. Thank you and happy coding.